Let me show you a system that's going to analyze your sales emails. It's going to analyze the sentiment of which these emails have been written and the emails that you write. So it analyzes both ends. So it tells you if you have a winning chance of closing a deal or not. Now on this video, I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike about it. It's called Q by Substrata and right now it's in the beta stage. There's a good deal going on. So I'm going to show you that right now. So the deal that's going on right now, it's on a lifetime deal and it starts off at $79 for this deal. Now be aware that it's available for a limited time and you have a 60 day money back refund period. So if you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. Now let me show you what that deal actually gets you because basically you get access to everything from the license tier one, which is $79, but you get access to only one user, which would be enough for most people. Now, if you have to connect it to only one Gmail account, well, you're good to go and you're ready to go and use license tier one. But if you need to connect more accounts and you need more users, you need to jump into license tier two or three, but basically you get all the features on license tier one. Now let's jump over to my Substrata Q account. This is the dashboard where all the analysis is going on. Now, one of the things I like about it and dislike about it is that it's more than just a sentiment analysis system. So I like that I'm getting a lot of information and a tool that lets me go through emails really quickly. One of the things I dislike about it, it, and it's one of the main features, is the sentiment analysis. I think it needs a lot of work in that sense because I've noticed that some emails that are, well, not positive to close a deal, it's telling me that it's kind of a good deal and, and I have a good chance of closing that deal. So they need to work on that AI system so it works better. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day remember, it's on a beta stage and I like all the tools and features that it comes along with it. And the user experience is really good. Now, a lot of information comes into this. Like I said before, it's not just about the sentiment analysis and, not, and analyze, analyzing emails. You get also all this information. For example, the upper hand ratio. So that's based on the sentiment analysis. Estimated tendencies, the recent activity. So basically, that's not about the optimizing email. You get information about the recent activity, sentiment breakdown, number of participants in the thread. So for example, on this one, my site is just one or 1.1. Because sometimes the mail tracker gets like into a, it, it detects it as another participant. The prospect sites, so sites, so some of the some of the emails come with two or three people that they add as participants and the unknown. Most active prospects, selling zone position, my response time to messages. So I'm getting an analysis based on that. Most competent with, least competent, message word count, and these are coming soon. So the APC versus wins the outgoing email activity. So I'm going to know how many emails are going out and the incoming emails and the APC versus sales cycle. That's for the dashboard. Now, how does all this work and how does it capture this information? Well, once you add the Chrome extension for the Q substrata, it's going to be available in your Gmail account. Now, this is an email I received. It has nothing to do with sales email, but I just want to show you how it works. I'm doing this because this is a public email and it's not something like it's personal and a one-on-one -on -one with the company. So once you add Substrata, you're going to get these icons on the top. So you have these icons that go straight to your settings and systems on your dashboard, notifications for the unread people, good news, etc. My deal section, if you click on it, and you're going to get this button that says analyze. I'm going to click on it and it's going to analyze the sentiment of this email. So this is something that I like. The UX is pretty good and I like how you're viewing the selling zone here. Now, one of the things I like about it is that if you have several emails available, you're going to view them here on the timeline. And if you click on these, it's going to go to that section of the email. So it's a really good time saver because it goes to that section and you're going to view a quick view of what that message is about. So again, like I mentioned before, it's not just about the optimization of the sales email. It comes along with other tools that I think are pretty useful. And then we have the information for this. For example, the quick information about the email, the upper hand, who has the upper hand to close the sale? Do I have it or do they have it? Are they close minded to not making the, the purchase decision, etc. cetera. The Ethereum's Ater um, sentiment, so that's him and it's positive, the assessment. So for example, you are above selling zone. Now, what does that mean? You can see there's a graphic here, you would say, and there's a little green zone. If you're on top of that green zone, it means that it's too salesy or too pushy. So you don't wanna be on that zone. So you wanna rewrite the email, make sure that it's in the right zone. So on the green one and on the bottom zone is that means like you don't have a chance of 
Closing the email, well, fix it up if, if you're the one writing it, okay? Current message sentiment is positive. You have the upper hand in this message. And the next move, consider showing a bit more of empathy. So you're gonna get different type of messages and suggestions. I've gotten suggestions saying, for example, like wait, don't write the email, don't write the reply right now. So give it a chance and then write that message. So those kind of things. So that those are some of the messages and sections that you're gonna get on Substrata. Another part of this system is that when you write an email. So for example, I could say, um, I am ready to go. Um, you can grab my deal for, I don't know, 500 bucks, something like that. Once you do that, you can click on the simulate. There's another button that's added here. So let's click on that. And it's gonna analyze, well, that short email. And it's gonna tell me where does it range with the sentiment analysis. So right here we have, you can see it's on the top because it's too pushy. And you're gonna see the assessment. You will be above the selling zone, of course, but there's a drawback to that because it's too pushy. Your sentiment may be perceived as neutral by the other side. You will likely have the upper hand. Insights, you're likely to retain the upper hand status and move closer to your target, but you're still slightly above the selling zone. Consider revising your message to convey the right level of warmth and competence. So that's telling me, hey, rewrite that. And for obvious reasons, this is just a quick response. It needs work. And I've gotten other messages that tell me, you know what, it's too pushy, so fix it, all right? So you're gonna get all of that with this system. Now let's go back into the Substrata dashboard and we're gonna be able to view other things, for example, like the apps here. For example, I've got the Chrome extension already connected. This is coming soon, so queue beta for audio, that's gonna be really interesting. Salesforce integration, which I don't think it's like too great. I think it would much, be much better if they add webhooks to this because that way we can connect to any CRM that we want, not just Salesforce. And basically I've added that to the roadmap. I'll now show you that in a bit. There's the users. So in this section, there's only one user. Remember, I'm in the AppSumo tier one lifetime deal, but if you grab tier two or three, you have more users available there. The teams, again, if you have more users, you can add them there. The organizations, my account, and the billing. Now, something that I find really interesting is the My Deal section, where if I open one of these emails, and again, I'm going to show you a public email that's not a one-on-one -on -one with the business, you're gonna get a lot of information with these emails. So inside of Substrata, we're able to view that timeline that I told you, for example, we're able to view the email, what it's about, and we're able to jump to another one, another one. So I received two emails of the same update because I have two accounts, etc. but we're able to view all the timeline here. Now, there's a lot of useful information that we also get here. Again, this is not based on the sales optimization. These are extra tools that, that are available on Substrata and we get access to them. So I think that's a really great part of the deal. So you get like, for example, thread data, we're able to view the email, we're able to view who's in it, the reply time, the assessment, the next move, and we get some prospect data from the company. So in this case, we have the year founded, the category, employees, the estimate revenue, company, social media, et cetera. And this is going to be tied to the CRM once it's connected. Again, I wish they had webhooks and not just particular CRMs. But you get all of that with the Substrata deal. And then there's the roadmap of what's going to come. I've already added some a couple of deals, some couple of ideas, so they make it even better. But SMT support is going to be on the wish list, CRM integrations, webhooks, et cetera, sales flare viewing. And some of the ones I've added are these ones. For example, detect email trackers. I want to know if an email is being tracked by that user because I know that they know that I read the email. Automatic analysis. So you could see on my example where I actually click on the analysis. I wish it would be triggered via keywords. That way it automatically analyzes it and it's ready to go. Um, webhooks, like I mentioned before, so we can connect with other systems really easily. But all that is going to come in the future. That's why it's on the roadmap and I hope they get added for further development. But right now, this is the lifetime deal that's going on right now with the Cube by Substrata. It's, I think it's a fairly good price system. If you are focusing on the email sentiment analysis, I think, like I mentioned in the beginning, there's a lot of work that needs to be done there and improve the AI system so it detects better if the sentiment is positive or negative and if it's a good, if you have a good chance of making a sale or not. So they need to work on that. But on the other hand, I see there's a lot of tools available 
in this system that are not based on what their main focus is. And I like it because of that. And I'm keeping it because of that system. So I'm hoping that they improve this section, but I am happy that they have all these other tools available. So skipping through emails really easily is one of the things I like. The extra information on the company and viewing emails easily is one of the main features that I like about this. So there you go. That is Q by Substrata. If you want to grab the deal, there will be a link in the description, which is an affiliate link, and it helps me out with a small commission. And that's a wrap.